Hi friends, I have a double whammy for you in this video, a double unboxing. First, I'm gonna go ahead with uh, the Michaels grab bag. Never thought I would get one, but I got one today. And secondly, I have um, Mackenzie Childs unboxing from the barn sale. So let's jump into this grab bag. I only have one. Um, there were four in the store, but I didn't want to be greedy because I had found some other great deals and I think I just have too much craft stuff anyway. So I only got one, but I'm really anxious to see what I got. Gobblies paintball slinger. I've never heard of this. Uh, place Gobblies paintballs in the slinger and underhand throw. Okay, uh, this is definitely something for uh, one of my sons. It says ages six plus. Florals. Lots of florals. Hmm. These were originally $6.99. Beautiful magenta and purple. Um, $5.99. Gorgeous peach color. Uh, hydrangea. Originally $9.99. Nice and pink. Long pink hydrangea, uh, potted. Uh, this was twenty nine ninety nine. Wow, it's like a faux aloe succulent type zigzag cactus. Zigzag cactus. Let me see. Twenty nine ninety nine. Okay. A B. Oh, the antenna got broken. It was a B pick. Uh, five ninety nine. More florals. Oh, a little birdhouse pick. Uh, this is five ninety nine. Probably use that at Christmas time. Kind of looks like a. Frosted roof. Um, just says stem, but these are $9.99. I have four. Four of these. Oh, let's find one with a tag. $9.99. So four of these. They're all really long stems, but they bent to fit in the box. Oh, another, another little pink birdhouse. Uh, oh, a little green birdhouse. Green burlap, uh, some beautiful pink uh, florals. I don't know what is this. This kind of looks like raffia. Seagrass, seagrass, uh, four ninety nine. This seven ninety nine. These smaller ones one ninety nine. This one doesn't have a tag. Onion. Oh, here's another little cute pink floral. It doesn't have a tag on it, but it was probably $4.99. Two onions, uh, $4.99. Um, this is a rose echeverian. Echeveria greenhouse pick. Kind of looks like a succulent. 
the succulent rose. That's pretty. Um, doormat DIY modern mini, a miniature doormat. I'm sure I can use that in one of the minis challenges or maybe with one of the dollhouse challenges. It doesn't have a price on it. Um, little felt welcome. There's no price on this. Little truck with florals. Welcome to paradise. Pick $4.99. Two pride flags. Uh, they're two ninety nine, and a birdhouse. Just a plain birdhouse with a little like faux shiplap detail, and this was regular nine ninety nine. So that's it. The box is empty. Definitely well over $5 worth of products in here. I will, um, at the end of the video, I will tabulate everything and give a total of how much this stuff would have cost me if I just would have went in during spring, summer and purchased it all. So I'm going to get this back in the box and then I'll move on to the next items. Okay, so before I grabbed my um, grab bag, I was walking around the store and I didn't see any boxes. So I just was like, wow, maybe I'm too late. So I went to the clearance area and I found some really nice stuff. Uh, $2, a DIY wood stencil kit from Art Minds. It comes with the wood and a, a silk screen stencil, just like... Um, the Chalk Couture, exactly like Chalk Couture, so it's reusable. Let's see if I can get the wood piece out. And this nice little wood piece that has two different sawtooth hangers, so and hang this up on the wall either way and I really like that home sweet home and it was just two dollars in the clearance. Martha Stewart um, adhesive laser cut stencils and this pretty script. It's two sheets of that and this was five dollars. I really like these, the picture, um, they're nice. They're a nice size to where I could put these on like a wood round hanging sign, or if I was um, wanting to do like um, a full word in the script. So I really like that, the um, fanciness of it, you know, well, it's Martha Stewart. So of course it's gonna be fancy, right? I thought that was really pretty. Then a couple packs of brush on fabric paint. $2 each. So I picked up the primary colors and then the gray and black and light blue. So I thought that was a really good deal. And there are four one full ounce bottles of fabric paint. Um, what is this? A packable tote. This is a dollar. So just as a extra like it, um, you know, whenever we're out shopping, just um, so that we're not using so much plastic and we're using reusable products. So I thought that would be um, nice for a dollar. Um, I grabbed a couple of these fine tip fabric markers. Again, primary colors. These were $2. So I have quite, um, I picked up quite a few blank hats and um, t-shirts last year that um, I wanted to do something with, so I was happy to find this fabric paint. 
tie-dye spray, $1. They only had red, so I only picked up one because I have some tie-dye kits actually that I found at Dollar Tree that I still haven't used. So I wanted to try this out and I figured, you know what, a $1 investment isn't that bad. A couple of tubs for some of my little craft beads and what have you. This was a dollar. And finally, um, silicone molds. These are $1. I've never heard of Evil Ted. These are cosplay molds. So this one is high-tech bolts and I love using the um, air dry clay. So I figured I could use this for something or other. And this one is um, a filigree and it says villain filigree. So um, I like the filigree. I don't know what's so villainous about it, but whatever. Okay, so next, let's move on to the McKenzie Childs um, barn sale, <laughs> McKenzie Childs barn sale items. Okay, so my McKenzie Childs barn sale items. Let's dig into this. I purchased these um, on the very last day that they had the barn sale. I subscribed to the emails and... I kept advertising it and I just figured that's going to be too rich for my blood. I'm not going to be able to afford anything. But I was pleasantly surprised once I got into the sale to see that they had items as low as $10. Okay. Gift wrap. The Courtly Check gift wrap. It's two continuous rolls, um, 30, 30 by five, uh, 12.5 square foot per roll. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love Courtly Check. I have a couple of the napkins, the um, luncheon napkins and the cocktail napkins. Um, the cocktail napkins are just a little bit smaller than the luncheon napkins. Okay, let's dig into this box. All right, my first item. This is a hound's tooth. Row. Uh, 51 by 67 inches. Yeah. Black and ivory. 100% acrylic, dry clean. Some beautiful fringe. Lovely, very soft. Love it. Okay, so we have the throw. I didn't see the packing slip. Maybe they stuck it down in something else and it has the price. Okay, the next item, two a set of two pot holders, uh, Truly MC black and white zigzag. These were $10, I do remember this price. Like that's it's large. Nice pot holders. Okay, my third item was a black flower market travel cup. I don't remember how much this was. 
I don't think I purchased anything that was over $30. This was my early birthday present to myself. My birthday is at the end of this month, so. This is my birthday present. Ooh, I like, I purchased some of these flower market um, napkins from Amazon. So when I saw that they had the mug and the barn sale, I was like, oh yes, I love it. Such a beautiful floral. Nice silicone, flexible silicone lid. Does it say the ounces? Just says black flower market. I don't remember how many ounces. And then I just have some Mackenzie Childs on the side. But that's a nice size cup. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Oh, 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 I remember what this is now. This is a gift set. Flower Market Essential Box. Flower Market Essential Box. Uh, Mackenzie Child's Glow Home Apothecary Essentials Box. Blooming and Bright. Get this. Ooh, I'm going to keep this box. Isn't that pretty? Oh, look how that opens up. show you the presentation. Lovely. All right. So we've got a coin purse with the courtly check. Cute little coin purse. Uh, flower Market Hand Wash, Hand Lotion, it's wrapped in plastic. Um, this is a little ceramic, um, like, um, diffuser type thing for the oil. Here's the oil. Oh, I like it. It's very light, but um, it's a pleasant fragrance. It's not overpowering. And a travel candle. Very nice. Single wick. It doesn't say what the burning time is. Just a single wick. No, I'm going to show you that. Nice thick wooden base. And then the oil is just poured on top of the air into the little ceramic part. It looks like coral. I think this was... 20 or $25 if I remember. There's no packing slip to, for, with the pricing, which would be helpful because I, I can't like off the top of my head remember everything. I don't believe I spent more than $30. I think that was the most, $30 or $35. Okay, and the last piece is uh, the Courtly Check Large Cutting Board. The 
entertaining kitchen cutting board Mackenzie Childs. Tempered glass, um, heat resistant to 780 degrees, hand wash with care. Can be used as a cutting board or a trivet. Beautiful. And it's got the little rubber feet. That's large. I wish, I really wish they would have had a packing slip so I could have the pricing and the dimensions. I'll have to look in my email and then I'll try to add that at the end of the video what the dimensions and what the pricing was. But I love it. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Okay, my friends, that is going to do it for me. My unboxing is complete. That's all I purchased. Thanks so much for watching. Again, at the end, I will have a tally of everything that was in my grab bag and I will have the pricing. I Hopefully I can find the email, the pricing and um, the dimensions for um, the cutting board and everything that was in my uh, barn sale items. But thanks so much, you guys. I love you so much.